hey guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video i wanted to go ahead and do a walmart shop with me we've been checking out some of the stores and seeing what they have new for the new year and i've been to walmart a couple times in the past couple weeks and it's been a little bit slower at putting stuff out i think they've been trying to get rid of their christmas stuff but they've started putting some new things out we're going to check out the valentine's day see if there's any new beauty products i heard that drew barrymore has a new cooking line at walmart which is kind of exciting i love drew she always seems like such a sweet person um so i want to check that out and just see what we can find in stores today i'm a little bit more done up i know f usually when i film my shopping content i'm like run out the door looking a mess but i had an interview this morning which i was so nervous for but i think it went really well it was an interview with one of the local papers here in Iowa. So it's like about being an, an Iowa influencer because we don't have a ton here in my state. But yeah, that's kind of why I'm a little bit more done up today. I curl my hair this morning and put some glam on. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out Walmart and hopefully we can find some good stuff today. So Walmart is very slim pickings right now, but I did see they got Olive in June here, which is new to me. They have this at Target and they make really nice like press on nails. They always have some fun designs and they also have some really nice nail polish and stuff like that. So these look like some nice kind of springy shades. This color, pink goldfish is stunning. It's like duochrome. These are $9 each. They also have like some different tools and accessories as well. Looks like they did put out these, they look kind of like the wet brush in a way. It's a Pro Bright Wet and Dry Detangling Brush. It's $11.96 and they have some fun pastel colors. It says they're painless for detangling and they have a heat resistant design. I did not know that they sell True & Co bras here. I just happened upon them. And these are really good. They actually, I think they have them at Nordstrom as well. They're $22.94 here. I always take the padding out of mine because it's a bit much, but these are super comfortable. Just like wire-free, lightweight bras. This one is stocking the Valentine's candy. As we speak, it looks like they have some kisses, milk chocolate, melt away. They have these Kisses Chocolate Dip Strawberry, which sounds pretty good. These are Strawberry Cream Hearts. You guys, I turned the corner and I just found the jackpot of Tree Hut. They have a new scent out. This is the Pink Hibiscus Shea Sugar Body Scrub, and it's at Walmart first. This is where I've heard of it being found, but it looks like they have the Pink Hibiscus, the Strawberry, and the Watermelon, but yeah, this, new, this one is brand new. I don't know if they'll be getting any more new ones. Definitely getting this. I can't believe I found it while looking at the candy. That is crazy that they didn't even have it. With the like other body care, it's with all the Valentine stuff that they're putting out. So I feel like I'm one of the first people to have this. This is crazy. So exciting. Back to the candy. I got too excited for a minute. They have these Reese's. They're blossom tops. So they have little pink tops, which are so cute. The raspberry cream Kit Kats, which I bought these last year, and those were so good. So I'll probably have to pick up one of those. They also have the Reese's pink hearts. They have some strawberry shake M&Ms here. I did not find the big packs, but look what we found. We found the small packs of the Twix cookie dough. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. I'll have to pick up one now. But yeah, they have the sheer size, but I think they're gonna come in big packs as well. But we'll just get one to try it for now. Also have to mention, my friend put me onto these, but these Lindor strawberries and cream truffles are seriously incredible. They really do taste like a chocolate covered strawberry. So good, it is white chocolate. Definitely try those if you see them, because I feel like they're gonna go fast. These are amazing, I got them. Melt in your mouth, goodness. And I think that's it so far. They don't have the Twix cookie dough in the big packs yet, but at least we did find the small ones. I did find some cookies new for Valentine's Day. They have these cute heart ones from Pillsbury. These little pie crust things, and then these look good. They have little chocolate chip cookies with heart sprinkles. How cute is that? These red velvet chocolate almonds look good. They have some raspberry dark chocolate bark some gummy controllers <laughs> this was interesting some jack daniels tennessee tennessee whiskey coffee and they have a burning love hot sauce set <laughs> tons of random stuff in here it looks like humongous candy bars oh my goodness 
Okay, let's check out some Valentine's decor that they put out. I feel like Walmart does a pretty good job with their decor. They have some cute little signs. The love you more, better with you. Some more signs. This is I love to love you. All you need is love. A big love sign there. So lots of cute little signs. They have a mini fuzzy pillow, which is pretty cute. It's eight bucks for this, but I don't know, I feel like it should be a little bit cheaper as it is so tiny. But I love the pink furry <laughs> moment. Here's a few more things. This kind of like confetti love sign, which would be cute for like a Valentine's party. This heart wreath is pretty cute with all the glitter. That one's $12.98. Sorry, I haven't been telling you guys the prices, but other than that, I don't know. I guess I'm not too excited about the decor for Valentine's Day here. This is kind of fun. This wine tumbler with the little heart inside. That's cute. That one's $2.98. And this little heart sippy cup. I guess that one lights up too. I'm a sucker for the cute cups. I love the glitter in this one. And then they have these little coffee thermal cups. Powered by coffee and love. There's some teacher ones too. Those would be nice teacher gifts. And then these have like candies in them, I think. Here's some cute little mugs. I like the pastel heart ones. These I don't know the price. Let's see if they're on the bottom. I'm not seeing it. But these have been the cutest ones I've seen. There's I Love You More, Be Mine, and then Te Amo on the bottom. Okay, this one's adorable too. They have a whole little peanut section. Look at that. That is adorable with Snoopy. I can't remember this girl's name. I'm sure you guys will tell me. And you could put the little Snoopy in the mug too. This is super exciting. I heard that Drew Barrymore has a cooking line here, which I'm so intrigued about. I kind of want to try because I actually do need some new pots and pans, but it's called Beautiful. And I know she used to have her line here, Flower Beauty, at Walmart, but now they no longer have that. But I guess she still is in Walmart now with the kitchen stuff. But it looks like they just put everything out. I really want this whole set. It's a 20 piece set. I love that everything just matches. I love the color, the ivory with the gold accents. This is 119, but you get so much stuff in there. They have an electric griddle. It has an air fryer as well that matches everything. I love the matchy matchy. This is 69. Not bad. It's six quarts. Okay, the air fryer also comes in this like bluish gray color. There's also a coffee pot, a coffee maker, a crock pot. I also need a new crock pot because mine I broke the button off of and it's really annoying. So I don't know. I'm loving this set. Here's another 12 piece ceramic nonstick set for $129. They even have a cutlery set so you could literally match everything. And then and then you can do this to store our, all your kitchen tools and spoons and stuff for $29. And they have this hand blender for $29 as well in the white and in the blue-gray color. A really nice mixer. This is $99. They have the white, the gray, so kind of looks like KitchenAid a bit. It seems really nice quality though. And then this juice extractor. And they even have a microwaves as well. Something else I can get, but I need one that I could put underneath a cabinet. One of my buttons stopped working on mine, so I need new everything really, but I don't want to spend all at once, you know? But these look so good. I'm really intrigued about this line. I definitely want to get a couple of things for sure. I love how everything looks. It's so pretty. This is a little more my area of expertise. She has matching candles in her line too, so she has a red rose and Prosecco. These are plant-based wax blend, it says, so I don't know if that means it's like a soy blend or what but they're 14 ounces. They smell pretty good. Right now, I think they're like a couple bucks off, $14.98, Parkside Breeze. Ooh, that one's very fresh, Santal Flower. I like that, it's a little sweet woodsy. Now this is my favorite, the Salted Caramel Cream. Oh my goodness, this smells like Sol de Janeiro, number 71 spray. I might have to get that, it smells so good. And then a Peppered Vetiver. That one I'm not loving. This is a wild cherry spritzer. Ooh, that's like black cherry Merlot a little bit from Bath and Body. So this is definitely my fave. You guys know me in food sense, but I might have to get that because it smells like Sol de Janeiro. Now she also has these flower pot candles as well. Same price, but it's really cute, very decorative. It even has a little bottom piece, so it does look like a flower pot. And they have the same scents in these. So if you want something just a little bit more classic looking in the home, 
you could do either or. And some more fun tumbler cups to share. These are all $6.94, but they have lots of fun designs. I like these a lot with the wooden lid. They're very decorative, very on trend right now. If it was like a clear glass, that would be even cooler. Um, they have this fun gray geometric one. These have more like spikies on them, kind of like the Starbucks a little bit. They have the mint and blue. And then gray and this lavender. And then they have more with the wooden lid that are just kind of plain. But yeah, lots of fun colors and designs for spring. I like the kind of muted pastels. Someone just asked if I work for Walmart because I was filming, so that's fun. I've personally never seen these before, but they are so stinking cute. I don't know if they're new or if maybe only select Walmarts have them, but I've never seen them before. These are little wax melts in this little tin by the Pioneer Woman. I know she makes a lot of cookware, so I know she has a ton of stuff here at Walmart, but how cute is this? They're $4.67. Let me just show you what I mean, because this is too cute. All right, so you open the tin, and it's these tiny little wax melts. Like, what? That's so cute. So you just put one in your wax warmer, but I guess you kind of have to open them to, like, smell them, which is kind of annoying, but... That one smells really good. It comes with 10 of them. I guess it does have the scent notes here, but this one smells amazing. Pie crust cookies. It's like a spiced pie scent. Red mango and mandarin. This is rustic wildflowers. We got cedar and citrus, teakwood and oak. This one smells amazing as well. The maple shortbread cookies. They have a French toast. That sounds interesting. Frosted rosemary. Red apple and fir. This is acorn wreath. I feel like maybe some of these aren't new just because of the scents. Teakwood and oak. I personally don't have a wax warmer. You guys know me. I'm a candle girl, but these are so cute. Don't know if they're new, though, because they all smell kind of fall-ish, very warm and cozy. But I had to share it because those are adorable. I also spotted this on the end. Usually the end cap has, like, new items. These are called iFly Smart Cocktail Candles. I don't understand, maybe that's just the brand. They have nothing to do with like travel, but they have four beach cocktail candles here. So they're just really little tiny candles. It says you get six hours of burn on them. And the scents are kiwi mojito, mango iced tea, cherry pop, and island mimosa. These are eight to 88. For hygiene products, they don't usually put anything super new out right away. I feel like maybe in a month or two we might be seeing some stuff. But pretty much all I found new was that tree hut scrub in the Valentine's collection. But otherwise, I don't really see anything that looks super brand new. They have some like Dove twin packs, but it's just like their regular stuff. Um, just a double pack for $12.97. But yeah, I feel like the hygiene stuff is so hard to keep up on with what's new and what we've already seen. They have these ginormous tubs of body wash too, 34 ounces for $8.97. They're always such a good deal. This is always my favorite, the coconut and cocoa butter one. Um, their sense of skin's really nice as well, but I just love the scent of this one. And I don't know if I've seen the peony one before. Maybe that's like a spring and they have a cucumber and green tea. But yeah, I love Dove and they're now certified cruelty free. I suppose I read on Cruelty Free Kitty that a lot of the brands that were in China are now considered cruelty free and they had Dove on the list. Here's a new end cap that they have here by Salon Perfect. This is a waxing kit, so they have the little waxing beads. I think you melt them down in like one of these pots and then you can do your own waxing. But how cute is this? They have a gummy bear wax beads and they're in the shape of little gummy bears. That is so cute. It says you can use it anywhere on the body and you don't need any strips. I think it's hard wax, so you just put a little bit on and then rip it off. I have this style as well. These are just the plain beads, but they have lots of fun scents like a coconut and melon dragon fruit this one is acai berry and then yeah here's what the little pots look like so you can get the kit that comes with the beads and then the little melting pot you can microwave it in I guess this little mug like thing and then you stick it on with this little spatula so very cool they are starting to sell this brand now as far as the makeup goes Walmart is a little bit behind the other stores I feel like but they might be having a big turnaround maybe soon with all the new drugstore launches but I just haven't seen a lot yet here which I think in the past I found stuff here first but it seems like Target and Ulta have all the new launches before Walmart does right now I did see they got in the liquid filter from elf though I don't think this is in the right spot, maybe. Hmm, very confused. But yeah, I spotted a couple of these, which I don't think has been here yet. 
Like Wet n Wild, I feel like they always do a new launch for the new year, but I have not seen anything from them, which is so weird. I feel like usually they always have something out that's brand new and exciting. But yeah, it's kind of crickets in this aisle for now. I went to another store and they seem to have a bit more decor, maybe just because it's a couple of days later, but this one always has, I find, the best selection. You always have to find the good Walmart that's not picked over. But these are pretty cute decorative jars with the hearts on top. These are $4.98. Looks like that one broke off, but they have the red and the pink. Found some more cute mugs too. They have these Nightmare Before Christmas ones that have Jack and Sally, Love is Alive, and True Love Never Dies. They have some South Park ones. Little baby Yoda, or I should say Grogu, Love is the Way. They even have a Stormtrooper with a heart. What does that one say? Storming into, storming into your heart. These are cute. And then Jack and Sally, True Love Never Dies, and I Love You to Death. These are 10 bucks each. Such cute mugs. They've been having some really good ones. I always love to check out their holiday ones. Now these look incredible. Godiva has some birthday cake truffles in the mix here. That looks amazing. These are $5.48. Let me know if these are a must have. Sometimes I like birthday cake stuff and sometimes it can go wrong, but it's pretty cute. They also have some little kitchen towels. So the decor is definitely better since the first store. And I would say even better than Target right now with all their stuff and very affordable. These are $4. Even put out some Valentine's socks. They do these for Christmas too, the aloe infused ones for $3.24. Really nice gift, everyone loves socks. I mean, I would love to get them. And they have lots of cute little heart and pink designs. This one's probably my fave, but they're all honestly really cute. Okay, it looks like they finally did put out some new drugs for makeup. They got the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. It's usually always, I feel like, cheaper at Walmart. So it's $11.97 here. And then these might be new. It said on the display, these infallible gel mechanical liners as well. They might be more long wearing. This green looks so fun though. So that's $8.97. And they have a couple more down here. There's like this kind of turquoisey blue. There's also a nice brown one. They also made this new area, which is kind of fun, a starstruck fragrance. So it's a bunch of the celebrity fragrances, which we have seen a lot of these already, like Fantasy, of course, by Britney. I don't think they've had this one yet, the Intimate Edition. This one actually smells pretty good. This is $28.98. They do have these. Michael Bublé scents. I have never tried his fragrances. Of course, Ariana Grande has a bunch in this area. The mist and the perfumes. They have my favorite, Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth, which smells amazing. Some Dolly Parton perfumes and mist as well. So that's a cute little perfume section. If your Walmart has more of the like high-end beauty space section, they are clearancing their Christmas collection. And my store still has a ton left. I'm really tempted, but I really don't need anything, but the prices are so good. Like they have by Terry palettes, half off $28. Their lip balm, their rose lip balm, $9. That's a cr crazy savings. Also this Lancer skincare, $25 for that. It's so expensive on its own. So if your store does have it, definitely check and see if they did clearance some of their holiday stuff. So those are my Walmart finds so far for 2023. I thought I would go ahead and end the video with this little clip here. I really didn't end up buying a ton of stuff even though they have really cute things. I'm just, you know, I'm trying not to buy anything and everything that I don't really need or I'm not 100% interested in. You guys know I did pick up that tree head scrub and I have been using it. I like it. It's not my favorite ever from them because it is quite floral. The more I've used it, it's kind of like a candied floral. But it's definitely very springy. I like more of their sweeter or fruity scents. So this one's not really quite up my alley. So I don't personally think it's a must have if you like more sweet dessert type scents. You really have to like florals to enjoy that one. They actually reposted my video um, showing this, which was really cool, on their Instagram. And I think they're going to be putting me on their PR list, which is really exciting. It's definitely one of my main PR lists I wanted to get on for this year. So that's really exciting if it's true. I don't know. Also, I wanted to mention I did buy that Twix cookie dough. I know a lot of you guys were wondering if I liked it. Pretty disappointed in that. I didn't really get much of a cookie dough taste out of it. The... Kit Kat Raspberry and the Lindor Chocolate Truffles are definitely the way to go in my opinion for the new snacks, but I didn't, I was not impressed with the Twix personally. I just did not think it tasted as good as I hoped. 
but that's pretty much it for this walmart shop with me i hope you guys enjoyed you guys really have been loving the shop with me this year and that's why i am continuing to do them my target one has almost 60,000 views which is insane but this is like my favorite thing to do i love like window shopping with you guys you know we're not buying everything but it's just fun to see what's out there and what's new i went to a few different walmarts in this video and this was filmed over the past two weeks so this is not just at one walmart you kind of have to try out a few until you find a really good one so i have like my main stores i like to visit that i know get stuff out earlier and have a nice selection i'm really excited to see when they start putting out some new beauty stuff hopefully soon but i'm gonna let you guys go thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys